Hello and welcome to another episode of Forming the Russian Empire. We are doing absolutely amazing, which is a good start. We need to try to get out of uh, tribalism and get to feudalism. But first, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like. It really helps out the video and subscribe for future episodes. So the main idea is that we are going to keep on uh, grabbing land while trying to also adopt the feudal ways. Our biggest problem is that our faith is not organized and our uh and yeah pretty much that our faith is not organized so either we can convert to catholic or so on uh or we can just reform our religion so i'm thinking to be honest someone said convert to local culture okay we can convert to local culture and our local culture is actually russian so i did convert one place already but we we're gonna be we're, we're going true russian so the first thing we're doing is we are becoming russian acknowledge who i am we are now russian so we now are we're russian so now russians are going to form the russian empire which is good we also have novgrad so let's just keep going take concubine don't want to do that create duchy i don't really want to do that either dude there's like i'm so used to there being so many things for us to do but it's very calm very collective uh should we go to war with this guy up here we can subjugate we cannot subjugate. You've already subjugated. Oh, we can only do one subjugation more. Okay. I did not choose my subjugation very wisely, obviously. So let's go ahead and declare some more. Eat some. Uh, eat up some more territory. I think we look pretty swell for the time being. I think we're going for this uh, northern kingdom right now. So let's go ahead and uh, start taking it out. So let's declare war. We can actually conquer this duchy. So let's go ahead, conquer this duchy. I think we should win this war, no problem. I didn't really check to see if they have allies, which could be a problem. Uh, we, we definitely should use this time to expand our countries and just keep on building. We have to be careful about how many buildings we do build because eventually some of the buildings we can't use if we do adopt uh, the feudal ways because these buildings are for tribal only. So that's something we have to keep in mind. Um, so let's just win this war it'll be quite easy i don't think anyone's raiding us at the start but also if you guys didn't know we do some live streams every night now so make sure to tune in for one of those they're quite fun uh we either play ck3 or some other strategy game over here on youtube so oh what is this parts of my body were found this morning my lord my core physician says gesturing the table before us blood pools on the table around small mounds of fresh strings of tissue rest in dark ooze as you can see it's a, not a whole human not enough to identify him murders of the court i will pray for the victim um double the guards yeah pay double the guards very interesting we have a murderer going around like a serial killer though we had another thing like that in the last episode as well that's quite interesting our army is actually pretty uh good so i we can pretty much conquer anyone around us. For succession, we have two sons. I might actually disinherit my older son because he's actually a bastard. So we lose diplomacy and opinion. And my second son's actually intelligent, which is really good. That's one of the best traits. Okay, we won this war. So enforce demands. So be it. We want to give this territory away. We are Russian now. So we do want to give the territory away to Russians. Um, my wife is Russian. My player hair is a different religion. So, very interesting. So we're definitely going to convert to a uh, foreign religion if we have the possibility to. Doesn't look like any, a lot of people are Norse. My son is Russian. So are my daughters. Dude, my daughter's intelligent too? Oh, two of my daughters are intelligent. Nice. Oh yeah. So do we have some vassals that are already Russian? You're already Russian, but you already have a lot of territory. I don't think I want to give you any more territory. Ooh. We might have to give this territory to someone we don't want to. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do that. Um. Yeah. Ooh. This is going to be interesting. Our champion. We're going to give this land to my champion. Um. Uh. Even though... You don't really want to. Um, he's my vassal now, but he really likes me. Low control in this territory. Let's fix that. 
low control most places, but that's just just what happens. Um, we do have to keep on balancing raiding and stuff like that. Are these places ready to be looted again? Okay, these places are ready to be looted again. So we're gonna raise our troops over here and start raiding uh, Estonian stuff again. But this series so far seems really good. Our problem is definitely going to be successions and stuff like that because we are tribal. And the Byzantines are also going to be a big problem because they really like to expand north over here. So at some point we might clash with the Byzantines and I'm not really excited about that. This nation tends to explode, so I'm not too worried about that. But we definitely need to be careful. And we also have our steward pretty much perma development because we do have to get our de development up to adopt feudal ways. Um, unite the slabs. No, we're not gonna unite the slabs. Um, my daughter ha lays spelled out on the cold floor. That was my intelligent daughter. I will pray for the victim, make sure everyone's accounted for at all time. Is anyone saying? I make this throughout the realm, though I'm not looking for any extra clues. You spend... Oh man, why did someone kill my daughter? We There's like a serial killer. I've actually never seen this before. I'm not really sure what's happening. A letter is waiting for me as I return to my chambers written in red ink. No, in blood. You will end this search at once. Nothing good can come from uncovering my identity, and I will make sure that nothing good comes your way if you keep trying. The handwriting is almost looks like that one of my court physician. Could it be? Yeah, confront her. See what she says. I expose. She is the murderer. When I finally track my corpus down, she does not even try to run from me in the guards. Hello, Rook. She says, looking me up and down. It's about time you found me. I take you enjoyed my gifts. The smile that spreads over her face sends a shiver down my spine. W what the heck? She like healed me several times. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. No, yeah, we're murdering her. I I don't care. She's dead. My court physician literally murdered my daughter. That was intelligent. I am quite upset about that. I will not lie. She was very good. <laughs> um, yeah, do the expensive guy. Well, we have a new court physician. Hopefully he doesn't turn into a psychopath and kill like four people. That would be quite bad and I've never seen that happen before. Titles can be created. We, how many duchies do we have? Okay, we can create one more duchy, I think. So I think we're gonna go ahead and create this duchy. More prestige. Too many duchies. Okay, I'm stupid. Um, mediate between, tonight I have stripped myself of every symbol. Signifying my rank to walk anonymously among my soldiers is quiet evening. So when the argument breaks out, the words reach me loud and clear. An infantry man is trying to convince his commander, my spy master, of the advantages of alternate strategy. Frey will hear none of it. Stupid phone call. Come on, I'm reading something. Um, advantage, Frey will hear none of it. As I approach, the inferior man raises his fist. Mediate between them. Yes. Easy peasy. And, okay. Uh, Chief Frey's arm freezes mid-blow as I raise my voice. The emotional intensifies as my words seem to strike a chord. His expression softens to embarrassment. He stampers out an apology and scurries away. The soldier beams with gratitude. Thank you, my lord. Well, maybe I have to cut that. Um, the emotional intensive, uh, blah, blah, blah. The soldier be uh, beams with gratitude. Thank you, my lord. You will never know it. a faithful servant. Cool. Adopt his strategy. Yeah, innovative strategy. Martial minimum battle roll minus two movement. Yeah, sure. We'll adopt a strategy. Why not? Okay. Let's start. Actually, we can do a war without having to, um... Also, wait, wait, wait. We have to get rid of a duchy. Yo, this guy... You, uh, got a duchy because I'm dumb. Yeah, you get this duchy. This is the correct duchy. So, you get a duchy because I'm dumb. Um, you're really good at diplomacy. This guy... Is pretty weak compared to you. No, you're actually both pretty weak. You're better. Okay, we'll leave it how it is right now. Um, okay, let's actually, what's it called? Just raise local raiders. I say we raise all the uh, uh, raiders. Just get them going. You can raid two at once. That's a good idea. Let's just go raiding. Okay, so I really like this raiding. It's actually kind of like calming. Fort level, 
Increase control and county. Yeah. Do that. Our control's pretty bad. Rating's just so nice and simple. Now just keep keep going. Okay, you rated that. Right over there. Oop, we got into a battle. Looks like we're gonna get into another battle. Um, by the time my champion cousin comes to me uh, with his plan, he seems to have already made up his mind. Serving the Virgin's Mulgar will bring me both wealth and glory. I cannot deny that part, but I could deny his request. On the other hand, would you right to stop someone in the Pierce of Glory? Um, what's this going? Uh, my champion m moves and gains a trait. Um, no, I forbid it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, have my champion go. Uh, that would be fun. Thing, you can uh, raid and move at the same time. That's quite dumb. We were still raiding when we were moving, so quite dumb. Didn't know it was that busted. All right, well, we have to go to this county first. And we're slaughtering people. Oh my goodness. The Russians are... We are now technically Russian now, so we can't say that. So our culture... We have the correct culture. And now we can conquer all of this for the correct culture. Awesome. Our religion, though. We have to figure out what we're getting to religion. Is there, like, a local religion that we can convert to? That would be okay. Hmm. This is not... Very good... Uh, this Slovak, this one's not a good religion too. We could get Catholic, but that would be very far away. I think I think we might reform our religion actually. I think I think we're gonna keep with that strategy. We'll change the car culture, but we'll, we'll reform our religion. I think that's gonna be the plan. Just because I think uh, adopting a religion is way too RNG, and there's a chance that it might not happen. So I think we're gonna play it safe. Who is this? Uh, except also is one of is one of these my ruler yeah let's get my ruler off of leading the com armies because I don't want him to die so we're actually defending in a war now which is fun I was raiding but looks like we're now in a war how about we how about we get back to our uh, homeland and we'll start. Oh, we'll start raising the armies. Oh, well, looks like we're getting to a battle here on accident. Well, we're gonna jump in. Um, after a tense siege has succeeded in penetrating the fortified settlement of Novgorod and set his soldiers pillaging everything of value, in short, that they have stripped half of the wealth of Novgorod's wealth. That fiend. I will avenge this slight, yes. Um, when we talk about life, my wife and I often agree just to know that anger and understand how I view the world. I'm lucky to be someone that understands me. Yo, we like, can we, uh, romance. We're a romance or wife. Sing your lullab. I'm not reading that, but we are going to try to romance her. I'm just saying, I do not read that. Okay, let's go here and actually cut that guy off because he pillaged our village. I think we actually, so both of our raiders got back. Um, after my army says, can I hear commotion coming from my champion's lodgings? Best thing to disturbance, I find chieftain and high chieftain Nico in the middle of a heated argument while several onlookers add them on. Deliver a speech. I shall deliver a speech about unity in the crowd. And it's a resolution. I get up and deliver a speech about how we are all fighting for the kingdom of Novgorod and how we must stand united against our foes. For if we don't, there are many outsiders who would take advantage of our internal squabbles and to seize our lands and impose their rule on us. We are stronger and we stand together. Good uh, 150 prestige and some martial. Nice. Okay. So, I think... I don't know if like raiders are weak or anything, but I think I'm going to be safe. And sweet lady Ingrid, I say as I kneel before you, my only desire is to bring you honor and happiness. Pray tell me how can I pray to you my love for lo love for you? 
Queen Ingrid hesitates and her cheeks turn red. By Odin, I hope she is pleased and not embarrassed. Slay a wolf for me and bring me its pelt, then we may continue this conversation. Uh, yeah, I'll hire a hunter. <laughs> um, okay. Looks like we're just gonna have to use these soldiers to go save our ally. So let's go do that. Faction created against you, peasant rebel. I hate peasant rebels. Let's, um, it's this territory here. So, this is the entire... Can I, um, do you control there? No, control won't help it. We do, we should fix Novograd though. Because Novograd gives us a lot of resources. Let's stop the siege there and kick their butt out. And that should actually probably win our ally their war, which is good. Renowned physician. Dude, he's looking pretty good. And they did win their war because of that. Nice. We helped a lot. Now we can disband our army. Okay, good. We helped our allies. We just got a whole bunch of prestige. We have 1,442 1, prestige. I'm attending a dance in Novigrad to spend some time with my wife, Queen Ingrid, and the mere thought of touching hands makes me my heart jump. But when I arrive, I find her second conversation with my vassal. He is seven, dude. The cocky man drones on and on, totally obvious. To the cocky man? Are you kidding me? The kid's seven. He's not a cocky man. What are you talking about? My charms improve any conversation. Gains kind. That is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. I just called that kid a cocky man. The guy's legitimately seven years old. Okay. Whatever. I am, I'm past that. Okay, let's ransom these people off. We could just execute them. Um, so I will convert religion if it pops up, but it probably won't. Sun is learning. Who has good learning? This court. Okay. Duchy. I'm not going to create that duchy because I have to give it away. Low and county control. Grant title, fabricate claim. Nah, we don't need to. We do, before we do adopt feudal, we probably should like just rapidly expand because uh, with tribal, you can definitely expand a lot faster. So we're going to do that. Um, reform religion. We are getting kind of close to reforming the religion. So maybe we could do it faster. I think it would be better to convert to like a local religion because of uh, the holy sites and stuff like that. Um, it'd just be easier. But, oh, we can convert to faith. Ooh. Okay. Okay, I didn't realize that's how you could convert. Ooh, to convert to Catholic, we would have to have a ton of piety. Almost too much. But to reform our religion, we would need just as much. I'm going to be honest, I really don't want to conform to being Catholic. I feel like that's boring. So I feel like reforming a different religion, one is more entertaining and would be a lot more fun. So how many holy sites? There's a couple holy sites. There's also a couple holy sites here. What do I want to... Okay, what are their beliefs? Ritual celebration and sorcerer. Righteous. Marriage document. Concubines. Monogamous. Um... I don't really like concubines, to be honest. I think it makes it harder. Um, theoretic temple holdings are leased to the holders of the realm. Um, other fictions have... So I think we're going to convert to this religion here. Um, I think that's just the best idea. I Because I don't really want to go Catholic. I think it's too simple. So we're going to convert to this religion for 250. Everyone will convert. So let's convert. We're going to convert to this religion down here, and expanding down, we'll conquer a whole bunch of land with that religion. And we'll also spread our religion, too. Okay, so we uh, converted our religion. It might make some people unhappy, but I think for the most part, most of our country is happier because we have a different religion. And then we want to uh, reform the faith, so we need 3,000 piety, um, current fever. So, we'll probably do that with our son, if we just get him, get this spouse, because he'll have high intelligence. So, and we also have a virtuous, we have honest too, which is good. Okay, so we'll probably go for him. 
Um, convert. Okay, yeah, you don't have to convert anymore. Let's convert some face here. And then also, another reason why I did that is because we also have some holy... We, we got Novgrad, which is a holy site. So, our stewardship, we already have four of them. Which, the last one is Kiev, which is down here. Which I think is owned by our ruler, so that should eventually pass over. So, very good, very good. I think that's uh, the right idea. If you disagree with me, I am sorry. That was just uh, the plan in my head that I went with. It seems like it was a good one. So, we do have our troops up there. Let's go after this duchy right here. Conquer duchy. Declare war for his armies. Okay. This is the territory we're conquering here. Let's be one at a time. A lot simpler. Dude, Novgrad already looking good. We're rapidly expanding. Dude, forming Russia might be way easier. It's because of tribal. Um, it just makes it super easy. Um, everyone doing everything. Yes. Okay, we're all good. Everyone's doing something. These guys might try to cut down here. Martial perk. Hard rule. Yeah, increased dread. Um, I just want to make sure my king doesn't get killed. So, we do get... See, if he's a commander, we do get more prestige. But there's a chance of him getting murdered. So that's a problem as well. And we also... We are not the culture head. We need two more counties to be Russian to be the culture head. Um, I go ahead with my attempt. Yeah, I'm a saver. We have a 100% success chance. Every time I close my eyes, I see Queen Indrid's life. Sleep will not come. I cannot wait another moment. Cloaking shadows, I make my way to the garden outside her living quarters. The sight of Ingrid's character windows uh, makes me heads that are so other yet so far. But wait, who is that climbing up the tower? The shady up to Ingrid's. And I just realized I think I'm going to get flamed for the religion conversion. I should have gone for orthodox. I think I'm going to get flamed for that, because Russian uh, is heavily orthodox. Mm. Hey, we won't do that. We'll, we'll, we might do that. It depends. We'll see. Um, I will never let you get into the harm's way again. So Queen Ingrid becomes my soulmate. Nice. And I get 750 prestige without care. Well, then I hoist myself through King Anna's window. Okay. Very good. He becomes soulmates. Very good. And someone joined um, this war. An enemy ally that I think he just formed. So this war is a little bit more even. We, however, can call our ally if we want to. I think they might go for the capital. Do we want to call our ally? How powerful are you? Well, you're pretty powerful. 75 prestige. Yeah, that's worth it. Just to make the war um, for sure one. Norse. Yeah, now we're gonna have some problems with some populace because of all the converting and stuff we're doing. Um, but we just gotta make our country better. So, go ahead. Stop them from leaving. Their ally does look like they're in a, another war. So, okay. So, we got this. Um, we have to join these guys because they're in a war as well. So, it looks like we're in, there's several wars going on. Okay. How about we stack together? I won't get to him in time, so let's go back to uh, sieging their land. Okay. Actually, can we get him there? Ooh, we can. With the disembark penalty? Nice! That's a disembark penalty too, so we should crush them there. Okay. That was Pog, and they're suiciding in as well. Awesome. Okay. Um, decision. Defenders of the Rod. Ooh, what's this? Foreign forces are skirting our territories like a pack of hungry wolves. If the ways of the old are to survive, I must respect the clans together and we'll raise a glorious war hall in Purnan's honor. It's the looking holy site you hold against special building hall of heroes. Slovakian's fever increased by 25. You gain defender's faith. You holy water. Many Slovakian warriors in your realm become holy warriors. I think that's a good idea. Um, I think we should do that for a hundred gold because if feather is higher, is it easier to reform? Yeah, I think if the feather is higher, it's easier to reform. So let's do that. Um, under the leadership, the clans have 
united to raise a great war hall in Novgrad. Within the thick stone walls are prepared for war. Four generations of foreign scavengers have had their eyes on the land. Let them come, I say, let them test their uh, might against our brave Sl Slavitskian heroes. Let the blood soak in the earth and color the rivers. Hill Perrin. You get the nickname the Defender Rod, holding and all that stuff happens, which is awesome. Okay. I was the troublemaker, but now I'm the defender rod, which is way cooler. Um, and if I do, okay, the feather actually increased it, so I'm very stupid. Um, so I am very dumb. The lower the feather is, the easier it is to do. Um, ooh. So, that was a mistake, but I think we should be fine still. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna go with reforming our faith. That was probably not the correct path, though. Um, ooh. Oh, we have to hold three Sulcan holy sites, too. Dang. The peasants and, yeah, accept the gracious gift. Okay, so we need three holy sites, and we only have one. Where are all these holy sites? Dude, I think I messed up here. Uh, dude, we have to expand all the way down there. This one's way easier. We can control these three holy sites way easier, and we want to expand that way. Yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> Man, we, we have messed up so much. Oh my goodness. Can we convert back? Okay, I have uh, messed up so bad. We're probably gonna have to convert again. Um, or we just have to, cause to reform you think this religion too is gonna be really hard. Okay, I think we're actually, scrap everything I said. I think we're gonna have to, uh, oh my goodness. Are we gonna have to convert to Orthodox? Oh my goodness, 8,000 piety. Oh man. This is, this is bad. What have we done? So 2,000 for this one. Okay, I think we're gonna try to convert to that religion. Okay, we're, we're, uh, we're, we're having some trouble, guys. Uh, grave is being dumb. But it's okay, grave can be dumb. We just are causing a lot of problems, you know? More, more entertainment, haha. -ha. Fun times. Maybe I should look into it more before I do everything. A daughter, she's doing stewardship. 18 stewardship, nice. Okay, so that is quite bad um, for the religion and stuff. So maybe our next ruler will change religion once again. Um, so yeah, brother can be married, player hair can be married, send proposal, nice, excellent. Someone's raiding us too down there. I think we could win this war off of this siege here. Or the battle. Yeah, okay, we did win off the siege and forced them in, so be it. We have to give one of our pieces of territory away. Um, who? Is this the person we just conquered? I think maybe. Let's um, grant title. Yeah, and we'll actually negotiate release. Demand conversion, maybe. Negotiate release. Um. Yeah, so I was dumb. We're actually gonna convert. So we're gonna stop converting this religion here. Just religious relations. I think we're gonna convert to this religion here, unfortunately, because we can easily get the uh, three holy sites. Because this one, we have to get all the way here. To get the holy sites because to reform it um you have to have three holy sites mm, and i don't think we're going to be able to do that and to convert to orthodox or catholic we need like eight thousand but if we go here it costs us two thousand three hundred and we can easily conquer those three okay that's our plan it sounds like uh, I know how we can employ both strategies. Yeah, do that. This is this is a very complicated plan, but I think 
we can do it. Um, I've been corresponding with your chancellor, and I must say I've come to see you in the new light. Okay, guys, actually, for the, for the religion stuff, please, uh, please let's, uh, talk about in the comments about what you think we should do, because I definitely, um, have been messing this up a little bit. So, just, uh, let me know what you, you think the, the, the good old strategy should be. Let's help our friend here. And once we help our friend, we can, uh, move on to, uh, the end of the video. Dang, I really messed up. I converted to the wrong face. Uh, Tova, the son of my chancellor, has accused my chancellor of having an external affair with his daughter-in-law. How could he defy the sanctity of marriage? This crime cannot be unpunished. Yeah, it's kind of messed up, too. Chancellor, yeah, that guy's a way better chancellor. My wife, King Rear, gets to hear many things during her comings and going. Lately, she's had some very interesting stories about my guest, Alma, does in the show. This is uh, very useful to know. You learn of Deviant. Wow. My wife snitched. Good job, wife. Good job snitching. Okay. Awfully imprison my vassal. Is this the 21? Nah, we, we don't need to imprison him. Oh, we can form another kingdom. We're gonna form... No, no, we're not gonna form another kingdom. Because if we form another kingdom, then if we split right now, we'll lose some of our land. But then we can do a war to get the land back. Yeah, F it. We're gonna form another kingdom. So, form another kingdom. So be it. We have two kingdoms now, which is good. Uh, the only problem is for succession-wise, we will lose a kingdom. We have another son? When did we have another son? When did this happen? Was I not paying attention? We had another son at some point. Not good. That is not good whatsoever. Okay. Yeah, so this war is pretty much won. It is won. Um, actually. You get 99%. You sh after you win that battle, it should be over. 100%. Okay, so allies will peace out. So be it. Disband. Okay. We have expanded quite a bit. We actually have formed another kingdom, which is good. Unfortunately, I have messed up our religion royally. I really messed up. I converted to probably the worst religion to convert to. And then I increased the favor of that religion because I was like, oh, that cool. And now, um, yeah, we just have some problems. So if for the religion, guys, just talk about what I'm thinking we convert and reform this religion. I think that'd be the easiest, just because I don't know if we'll ever get enough piety to convert to Catholic or Orthodox. But please let me know down in the comments down below, and I would love to hear what you have to say. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. I actually might convert to this religion. This is a d different religion that no one really is, and that would be very cool to expand that religion. Okay. Calm, brain, and juster virtues. Yeah, so we might actually convert to this religion right here because we could easily grab these three holy sites and then we can reform it so we might do that so thank you uh, for watching this video and i hope you enjoyed if you did please make sure to like and subscribe for future episodes there's a playlist down below in the description for you to click on see you later bye and have a good one